You know, I am so happy that this is the last episode of The Sims for, like, thank you for the support and love. I've unfortunately lost interest in this game, hence why this is going to be the last episode. But regardless of how I feel about it, I'm still going to enjoy as much as possible while entertaining you guys. So right now, he's just jamming to these, to the spooky music that he loves, which, you know, I'm glad. I bet it's the Nightmare Before Christmas soundtrack. It just has to be that soundtrack. Overroy. If he's jamming, Ooh, if he's Bang jamming on. that hard. Either that or Repo, the generic opera. Which I understand, because that album actually is pretty good. Alright, so time for you to go to bed. Hurry up. Sleep. No more spooky music for you today. Okay, let me just see here. Stressed? Bro, how are you stressed if the day's not over and you have yet to go to sleep? Instead of complaining about not being able to pee, go to the bathroom. Duh. How is he embarrassed? All he did was sleep. This guy is just stressing himself out for no reason. Like, bro. You literally... You literally are going to sleep. Why are you like this? Oh no, the mattress. It's too firm. What is up with these sims complaining about the bed? This is the third sim that has said the same thing during this whole series. Okay, so being that it's late, time to go to bed. I mean, I would love to hide from everyone, but let's just, just go to sleep. Question is, does he have to go to work? Yep, he does. Oof. Ah, Marcia Nielsa. Ah. The bed is really killing him. All right, you know what? Since he's having so much trouble with sleeping, I'm going to buy him a mattress. I mean, he has the funds, so it's whatever. Okay, um, buy room, and we're going to go to bedroom. And then we're going to go click on La Cama. Um, let me see. Discrete double bed system. I mean, these beds are a little bit. Hmm. I mean, damn. Okay, so let me. The thing is. The scenarios would have been so much better to deal with if I was able to have Mother Load. I feel like since Mother Load is not only out of the equation, but not even have the ability to use Mother Load, makes me uninterested and keep on going with the scenario due to frustration and boredom. Because honestly, that's one of the reasons why I liked playing The Sims, because of the fact that I was able to motherload my way to living a better, successful Sims life. And I enjoyed doing it. I enjoyed watching my Sim be happy, doing things that they weren't able to do previously. Like, having motherload definitely changed both our lives. 
And now that Mother Lode is not gone, it's what not only is Mother Lode gone, it's just it's like what's the point in doing the Sims if I can't even cheat my way through? Alright, so the garnished bed. Ever slept in a barn? No. Well get ready for the barnish. Constructed of reclaimed barn doors with a gently hay scented mattress. You'll be neighing your way. <laughs> Nay. Neighing your way to dreamland in no time. And it's a good stress relief, so here's what I'm gonna do. Here is what I'm going to do. I'm gonna grab this and I'm gonna sell. Oh, I got 344 out of it. See, that's not bad. So technically, I'm only paying for half with the new bed. So, all right, what should I? I feel like since I'm trying to match the aesthetic of my bedroom set, I feel like this would be good. All right, I want to see how he feels about this now. He better not complain about any back pain after this. You're eating again? Bro, you're gonna get a tummy ache. Dead ass. Oh, he ate the fruitcake and he's not loving it. Look at his face. Why are you chewing like that, bro? Oh, ho, ho. All right, so go to bed, try this out, see if you like it, because you're going to have the best sleep of your life. I know that for a fact. Damn, look at him. He has not once waked up. See, I'm happy. He enjoyed the bed. Good for him. Good for him. Oh, uh, not trying to record that. All right, so what should he have for breakfast? And number two, I think we could try and sell this painting to make more money. I'm going to sell to the collector. And then after that, I'll try and make another painting. Embarrassed again? You haven't even left the house. Oh. How is he embarrassed? Is he going over the interaction he had with his two neighbors, like, yesterday? You know what? Amir, listen. Amir. Listen up, buddy. It's time that we need a, a pep talk. After you take a shower, of course. Damn, the quality is poor. How is this painting poor? It's literally just a painting. Better than what I can do. Alright, it's time for a pet talk. Bro, listen. You can't keep on replaying situations that not only happened in the past, but you can't control. Are you eating that fruitcake again? Because you know for a fact you're going to hate that. All right. I say we can do a... Ooh. Confident painting? We could do that. If you have the time, of course. So everything does not seem to be going Amir's way at all lately. It has gone... It just has been bad news after bad news. Oop. So I ended up not going on a date with Carrie Drew. Sorry to hear it. Like, why are you calling me? Anyways, people keep saying, you never know until you try. But never talk about how it feels after trying something new. And it not working out. Oh my god, it's literally hitting me personally. 
So Amir can't take another disappointment. Oh, it's terrifying that. and too painful to try again. Wow, this game this game really said for you. Shit, that's how I feel at the moment. Sawoda. That's cute. A little lion with a crown. King of the jungle, right? Rugi. Wait. Is he? <gasps> Dude, it's time for work. Go to work. Yo, he's late. Amir is relishing every brush stroke. Should he let the colors flow and embrace that he likes painting? Yep. Oh, he's mad late to work. He's crazy. Yo, this man went through 50 million emotions within a few seconds. What he sealed this time? Let me see. Amir feels very uncomfortable from standing on his feet all day. A hot shower sounds amazing. Aw, poor guy. You know what? As you should. Let's go. We're going to take a nice steamy shower. And then after that, you're going to go and eat. Well, actually, clean out spilled food. And then, of course, since he's going to clean out the food, well, what should he cook? I say he can cook some. Uh, mac and cheese. Family size, right here. That way he can have like leftovers for the next three days. And then, since he's feeling so uncomfortable, I say he could. Wait, does it say. Poor quality, man. This game can't catch a mere break, bro. Like, at least he's flirty. A hot and steamy shower makes you feel so good. Can't really relate, but okay. I mean, I could in terms of being relaxed, but it doesn't really make me flirty. All right, I get to watch him cook, so let me see. Let me see. That is a big-ass mm. pot of mac and cheese. Oh, swack. Yeah, I'm not eating that. Five and three. I am not eating that at all. Make sure that shit doesn't burn. Yab, 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 Damn, the way you're mixing it like that, no wonder that shit's gonna be cooked uneven. I wonder what's the quality on that. Poor. Oh my goodness, bro. And he's thinking about why he has to wash so many dishes, bro. That mac and cheese does not look good. I mean, if he likes it, then I'm happy for him. Dude, he actually likes it. Okay, so let's uh, put away. And then after that, we're going to go sell this painting because, you know. Even though it's poor, he's going to make $103 off of it, so. Wait, emotional aura? What's this? Ashkua. Why is he opening up the fridge like that? Like, calm down. And clean up. And then after that, we can go and sell it. Because we need to make extra money. You know? Because there's nothing wrong with making extra money. You know what? I should start painting and then sell it low-key. Why not? All right, so let's do a flirty painting. Okay, I gotta see this. I wanna see what a flirty 
painting looks like. Jeez. Is that a bed? Yumi. What the hell is this? Tankuba, Urabal Vimfa. I'm trying to do the goal of creating five emotional paintings. So far, I got one down. Four more to go. Whoa, what is that? Is that a face? Looks like a clown. Her eyes are staring into my soul. That's not flirty. That's creepy. Bro, how yeah. is that flirty? Yeah. That's creepy. Ooh. Sawoda. Ooh. Ah. <laughs> He's really enjoying himself. <laughs> yeah. mm. <laughs> Bad aftertaste. The food wasn't very tasty. I mean, dude, the way you made your mac and cheese, that, of course it wasn't tasty, bro, like. Bro, why are you swaying back and forth like that? I'm done. What? And I love how this guy is just randomly walking with a book. I wish I had an apartment like this. This would be like a good, decent size for me, but I could only imagine the price tag attached to it. This would be like 2000 a month. Oh, okay. It's a interesting painting. Oh, he's painting again. Ooh, Shimago. Wait, why is he painting again? So he didn't like the first one he did? Huh. Look, he has so many moodlets. Let me see. Creative juices are flowing after finishing a new painting canvas. So he's inspired. He's also happy since, you know, he's listening to music. Excellent taste in music. Amir is all about spooky music. Amir <laughs> is in his element, and because he is doing something he prefers, increased his fun games. Yipsy. Fadish. <laughs> a smooth drink helps make any day a smooth. bit brighter. Yumi. Okay, so he's tipsy ah. making paintings, so he's pretty happy. Um, perfectionists <laughs> demand <laughs> only... Over. Come on. Only the uh, best work, especially from themselves. And he is in need Ooh, of go. using a bathroom. Linsa and Flazzy. he's sad. So you hey. mean to tell me you're happy and oh, sad and tipsy and need to pee? You, I can't even keep up with your emotions at this point. <sighs> <sighs> Is that supposed to be a llama? A dog? Oh, he left. He left. Okay, what's the quality on this one? Normal. Okay, he's getting better. I'm pretty happy. Wait, hold on. Yeah, this is nice. All right, let's sell this one. Because we're making so much money here. All right, another one, right? Um, what is he doing? Craft. Classic painting. Oh, this is huge.
Whoa, this is uh This is a really big step for you, Amir. I assume this could be either a teddy bear, uh, a fox, maybe. Yep, it's a teddy bear. Or a dog. <laughs> could be a dog. Oh, look at him. He loves to paint. And he's happy about the spooky music. I feel like sometimes in my life I could relate to a sim because of the fact that Amir is a kleptomaniac sim. Kleptomaniac sims become tense if they have not swiped any objects recently and will also gain a boost of energy after a successful object swipe. Careful not to get caught swiping objects as this can make a kleptomaniac sim embarrassed. Bro, of course you can get embarrassed. Are you stealing? You get off on stealing because it makes you happy. Not because you actually want the thing. That's actually a really nice painting, though. You're actually getting pretty good, Amir. I bet you could sell this for like a couple couple hundred bucks right here. After this, we're going to bed. And then as soon as I click bedtime, he's going to have like a titty attack. Watch. Amir can now create a low-skill realism painting, low-skill abstract paintings, and medium-skill classic paintings. Wow, I'm surprised he'd even cry. Good for him. He's he's getting better with his emotions. I'm happy for him. First of all, how are you awake? How are you awake? Ew, I don't want to see that. Anyways, you're going to go to bed sleep because you need all the energy in the world anyways oh what's this what's this angered yo he went to bed angry angry he went to bed angry. You know what? I'm going to take a regular shower. And then you're going to go and make some... Well, actually... Leftovers. He's going to have the nasty-ass mac and cheese for breakfast. Oh my god, this is going to be funny. And being that he got up so late, I'm going to have him finish the painting. Let me look in the inventory to see what happened with the other painting that he actually um, put away. First of all, he can actually sell this. I don't know why he would actually put this away. He can make $133. So it seems like if you are horrible at painting, no matter how bad the quality is, you're going to make some money. So I'm like low key inspired at this point. Oh, mm -hmm. Look at him. Let me see that mac and cheese. Uh, uh -huh. Damn. That is a dried up macaroni with little to no cheese. <laughs> How much you want to bet he would be the one to put cheese, we cheese whiz on mac and cheese? Ew. Uh -uh. <laughs> All right, finish this. I want to see the the final product. Ah. <laughs> Aw. 
Oh, two two twenty four. Hell yes, yeah, sell it. Oh, he made mad money. And also, let me see here. Because he can actually... Come on. I say he can sell this. What is he doing now? Oh, he's going to attempt to do a large realism painting. Okay, is that an asteroid? Are we in space? What are we doing? I can tell painting has been really helping him with managing his emotions. So that's actually pretty good. I feel like it's his own therapy for him to just comfortably and artistically lash out due to all the bullshit he's been going through with his life. So good for him. That's, that's how I feel when I play video games. Like, whenever I need to escape from all the bullshit from work life and personal life i just turn to video gaming it's like my own little comfort you know so i definitely understand how amir feels about his love for painting let me fast forward this see if there's a way for me to see his finished product before going to work a sunflower Huh, okay. I mean, I love sunflowers. They're like my favorite flowers. They're also pretty tasty, too. I just love... I can, like, eat a whole bag of sunflowers. Shamelessly. I really don't care. Alright, I guess it's time for you to go work. He went to work inspired, by the way. So, happy emotions. Oh, shit. Okay, so Amir has been promoted to sales for clerk. He will now make an additional $7 per hour for a grand total of 40 per hour. He has also received the following bonus, $188. His next shift is Tuesday at 9 a.m. Bro, you got a promotion. Um... Are you okay? He's embarrassed. He's happy that he's moving on up, but... Oh, he hasn't stolen anything. So he's like dummy stressed. Well, you know what? I say you should sell this, right? <laughs> and also, you should eat because it's good to eat. And also, we need to get rid of that um, that mac and cheese. So, I just love seeing him get tortured by eating that nasty ass mac and cheese. It's so funny. That shit looks like a brick. That shit looks like a brick. Wait, that's not mac and cheese. That's a poor quality grilled cheese. Oh, Lord. Okay, so you're going to eat this or not? You're staring at it. Are you contemplating? I would be, too. My grilled cheese look like shit like this. Why is the cheese all goopy like that? He deadass is just contemplating about eating the sandwich. Eat it! Eat the sandwich! Wow. He would rather starve. Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.